Hi, welcome. In this session, let us see how to use SSH connection to connect to our Git servers. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. So almost all popular Git servers authenticate using SSH public keys. It's quite a popular method of connecting to your Git servers. Once you set up the SSH keys to your Git server and in your working system, you don't need to do it another time. You don't need to provide your passwords every time. So this process is actually the same across all operating systems. Either you are using Linux or Windows or Mac machines. So when you set up an SSS key, you, you actually create a key pair that contains a private key as well as a public key. The private key actually stays in your system and the public key actually is uploaded in your Git servers. So your Git server will use the key pair to authenticate anything that is associated with your Git server account. So let's go ahead and start our configuration in our system to connect to one of our Git servers. So for that that we can use our git bash which we have already installed in our earlier session so so if you are in a windows system just like just like what we are working in this session you can actually use the git bash or you can use the windows command prompt if you are in an older version of windows like before windows 10 you have to use the git bash but in windows 10 you can also use your windows command prompt so let us go ahead and start to generate our ssh keys in our windows system so this is the git bash prompt which I have already uh, opened. You can uh, do this command from anywhere but uh, let us do one thing. Let us actually go to our home folder or the home directory in, in this windows system. So in the git bash you can do cd and you can provide the tilde. This is like a Linux. In Linux based machines also if, if you give this cd tilde it will take you to your home directory in Linux or Mac machines also it's the same thing so if I do cd and then space and then tilde it will take us to your home directory and from here you can see what are the files and folders in your home directory I'll just do an ls and then what I'll do is I can go inside the dot ssh folder and let me clear the screen and if you do an ls you see there is only one file now it's the known host so let us go ahead and create the ssh keys so for that uh, the command is ssh dash key gen key gen so you don't need to do the exe you can just provide ssh dash key gen and then uh, there are other options also which is not uh, required for our session but uh, one thing which we can provide is the comments dash c for comment and you can provide your email id so let us do one thing let us provide for example our email id and uh, say we are going to connect to our bitbucket server so i'll just uh, put my bitbucket uh, bitbucket.org just to identify this key so i have provided this uh, email id so that it will Will attach to our public key so if this is the command sss dash key gen minus c and then provide minus c for comment and provide your email id just to identify so let me correct this comment is just to identify that this is uh, generated for this bitbucket git server we hit enter and it will generate our public and the private key rsa is the algorithm which is used to generate this keys and the keys will be put in this file enter file in which to save the key and it will automatically put it in this in in, a, in our home folder dot ssh and id underscore rsa so i'll just keep stick with defaults because this is our main or the default SSH keys for this system so I'll just hit enter here and then there is an option for passphrase which I will keep as empty as well so I don't want to provide any pass uh, phrase or password because every time I need to connect to in that case I would need to provide that password so I just don't want to provide the password anytime and this is my personal systems personal or private system and nobody has access to this system so it's okay for me so I hit enter again and it will ask for the same passphrase again Again, I hit enter and this generates our private key and the public key. So let us see that what it did in this folder. So we do an ls and you can see here there are two keys. One is the private key id underscore rsa and one is the public key. So if you want to see this, you can do a cat and you can put the file name here and you see here this is our public key ssh dash rsa and in the end as I was saying earlier, you will see the email id which is provided here. This is the same key public key which we need to put it in our git server then only this is going to give us access to our repository so so in this session we'll see we'll try to connect to one of our bitbucket 
repository so let us go to our bitbucket repository so in bitbucket we have two projects for this account let's go to one of the projects and then let us go to bb repo one um, first let us see that it's a private repository or not so repository settings and come here and this is a private repository that means this will require a username password or or this SSS keys to clone this repository so let us go back to our repository and source and if you click on clone here you will see here clone this repository git clone https this is using our https options which we already know we have seen in our earlier sessions and if i we have to change this to ssh so in that case the command actually changes here git clone and then git at the rate bitbucket.org and then our repository and other details in here what i'll do is i'll just copy this for now i have not added my ssh public keys in this repository settings so if you come here and see in the repository settings in the access keys this is where we are supposed to add our keys so i'm just trying to show you that before adding our public keys we will not be able to clone this repository or do anything on this repository so we need to add our public keys so let us go ahead and go to one of our temp folders okay so uh so i'm in one of my temp folders and let me open our git bash prompt here another git bash prompt and let's try to clone this repository using our git url and git clone git or uh, git at the rate bitbucket.org and then our repository details and hit enter and you see here it is saying as permission denied it's trying to connect with ssh and it's saying permission denied there is no public key could not read from the remote repository so now let us go ahead and add our public and see how we can actually use our public private key so we do an add key and we go back to our console here and let us copy this whole thing and let us come back here and this is where our key goes in and we have to put a level for this key so what i will do is i'll just put uh, this level here the email id kumar s and you can put whatever you like but i just uh, put it here and we do a add ssh key okay so now our key has been added and for this repository bb repo one so now let us go back to our console git bash and let us now do the same thing so let me make this little bigger let's do the same thing here git clone and let us hit enter and it's trying to clone this repository and it has already cloned our repository here count objects 11 done okay so so that's how you add up ssh keys and you can work with your git repository or git server you know, from your windows system or linux system you have to add the access keys or the public keys in bitbucket or github and that's how you can work so this is also the same way how jenkins tries to connect to your git server to get the code from so in the jenkins machine you generate the ssh keys and then you take that keys and put it in the your bitbucket or your github server and jenkins tries to download the clone the repository from bitbucket or github and it will build that code after downloading it so now let me tell you one thing here so if you see here it didn't ask for uh, the known host there is supposed to be one known host uh, permission request which did not show up here so what that i would like to show you here is there's a file here called known host this will contain all your known host so my bitbucket server bitbucket.org is already here if you see here this was already added from my earlier sessions that's why you didn't see that prompt when we try to get our code from bitbucket here usually here it comes so we'll see that uh, once we try to connect to our github because i think for github uh, it probably don't have it here okay so github also it's there so let me do one thing let me actually uh, remove this github one okay so let me do one thing let me actually remove this uh, even this bitbucket once and let us save this and uh, okay that's fine let's save this and come out of this and you see here the bb repo one is already downloaded already cloned let me do one thing let me remove this uh, once more and you come back here and let's do the same command here before that let us clear our screen and git clone and let's see what happens here so now you see that authenticity of the host bitbucket.org can't be established rsa key fingerprint blah blah are you sure you want to continue so the first time if you do you are going to get this thing before it gets added in our node host file so and this is same for your linux machines as well so i click yes here and it says permanently added to the list of known hosts and then it goes ahead with our next steps of downloading or cloning our code from bitbucket 
ls and you see your repository here now you can go ahead inside your repository and you can do your git commands or git related task and all okay okay if you want to see the git log you can see it here okay so that's all about the ssh and how to connect to your git server and clone your repository and work with your git server hope it was helpful to you thank you so much